So, what are you guys up to this season? Um, Tell us everything. Doing a lot of press. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, 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 I did not oh, specify. So cruise, cruise. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Doing a lot of press. Uh, <laughs> just that. Uh, no, you know, I um, well, Cruz is maybe in the midst of a budding relationship. Uh, he has recently uh, saved somebody from a fire, uh, and that maybe that girl may or may not be smitten with him, and that may be developing into okay. a little something um, that may or may not turn into a double date between uh, myself, her, and Yuri and his girlfriend. Yeah. Excuse me, Otis and his girlfriend. Yeah. Um, Otis is having some uh, remnants of PTSD, actually, from uh, the gunshot wound that he had uh, in season six, and it's going to rear its ugly head in the crossover episode. Um, and I'm going to do a crossover with Med. I'm gonna, I, got, I got to work with Oliver Platt, which was a dream of mine. Um, Dr. Troy also has suffered from PTSD. Is there any... Dr. Charles, you mean? Or, no, no, Dr. Brian's Dr. Charles. Was it Dr. Troy? Yeah, 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 he has yeah. suffered PTSD. Well, you know, the, the, the frank truth of it is a lot of people in, in, in positions like ours suffer from it. And um, it has a... It's been stigmatized. People don't want to admit that they might be suffering from PTSD. Uh, I mean, mental yeah, health yeah. issues in general are really Especially hard to amongst the old guard, like some of these guys are just so proud. Right. Uh, and they, you know, they don't want to admit that they're dealing with demons that are definitely there. It's a, it's a job that creates them. Right. Uh, and, you, you know, I think the fact that we're pointing a light on it is important. Like, I think it's really... Yeah. It's, it's it's a reality that they face that they not admit themselves may not admit to and hopefully it'll make them if it makes one guy go oh, shit talk to somebody uh, yeah then I think that's done a service yeah and we do it in, in, in a in a realistic way we do it in a sensitive way and um, and I think it, it ends on a I don't know it, it ends in a way that it could it could uh, it could come back up and I hope it does it's a really interesting storyline to be able to play now fire is gonna kick crossover episode in a very big yes, way. Yes, it is. Can you tell us about that? We're going to burn down one of the most <laughs> historic buildings in the city of Chicago ever. Not for real. Uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> yes, well, they set obviously a real not for real. It's a television show, girl. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know uh, your life. No, uh, it's, She's uh, not even supposed to be that's here. She doesn't She's here to say hi. Uh, <laughs> your roommate. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, we are... We're doing one of the biggest... Uh, stunts we've ever done. I got to see a cut of a couple of scenes when I went to LA and there's this shot of Taylor hanging out of a window from like 40 feet in the air, like 40 floors up and it's like none of that is fake. That is all 100% Taylor out there risking his life yeah. for an impeccable shot. While holding yeah. a kid, right? Say that again? While holding a kid, wasn't he like... Yes, absolutely. Uh, and you know, that's like, it, it, that's exactly, I think, a testament of what we do and have done for seven seasons. Like yeah. all of our stuff is very real, it's very practical. The, the fire you see is the heat that we feel. Nice. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, uh, and so it's a yeah. I, I think it's it's a, it's a real testament to the people who are making that happen. Like our special effects people, our stunt coordinators. If there's anybody that the entire production team feels deserves like an actual kind of an award or like recognition, it's it's me. those guys. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, it's those guys. <sighs> you know, uh, yeah, I got it. Contractually obligated to be my friend. So. They, yeah, season one, they were like, so, look, we think that we're going to play this thing <laughs> up with you and this uh, Otis guy, and you're going to be friends, and I was like, well, Sign on the dotted line. you're going to have to put it in the contract, because I hate that guy. <laughs> like, okay, now here we are. Here we are. I'm, stuck, I'm still stuck with him. That's okay, we're in renegotiation here. I don't know that way. What, what are you, you trading for? Who are you talking to? I'm not talking to anybody. I'm throwing stuff in the trash. Do you guys, uh, you guys do your own stunts? Or uh, no? No, I mean, we don't get stunts. Uh, no, it, you know, they, they leave the stunt work to the people who deserve it, like Taylor and Jesse. But also, um, they, 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 you know, there's stunt Christian. guys that, yes. that their, their career relies on them doing these stunts. So every time I go, no, nah, I'll do it, this guy's losing a paycheck. Right. You know what right. I mean? Exactly. So it's yeah, like, right. I don't need a, I don't need a, I'm not Tom Cruise here. I, I don't need a... I don't need to prove yeah. anything to anybody. That's cool. Uh, you, could, you could be Tom Cruise. I, I know. I know I could. <laughs> yeah, I know I could. Don't sell yourself short, man. I could. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> See, that's exactly how he does uh, it. Top Gun 2. Yeah, oh, yes, right? That's happening, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yes, but it got delayed. Yeah, yeah of course. They're they, waiting they for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, Jesus. Thank you.